Let's dive into a crucial aspect of parallel routing, which is handling unmatched routes. We've already learned that subnavigation within routes is one of the benefits of using parallel routes. For example, in our complex dashboard, we could navigate between a default list of notifications and an archived list of notifications. Let's jump into VS Code and implement the scenario. First, we will update page.tsx in the notifications slot to add navigation to the archive view. Import the link component and include it in the JSX. Let's wrap notifications in a div tag and add another div with link, text is archived, and href is slash complex dashboard slash archived. Link, by the way, is a default export. Now let's create the archived notifications view. Inside the notifications slot, create an archived folder. Remember, this is a regular route folder and add a page.tsx file with similar code, but modified for the archive view. So copy page.tsx, paste it, update the component name to archived notifications, the heading and the link, we point to default notifications. The href is slash complex dashboard. Please note, archived is a regular route folder and not a slot. If you now check the browser, you will see the link for archived notifications. Clicking it changes the URL to slash complex dashboard slash archived, and the UI shows the archive view. Clicking the default link takes you back to slash complex dashboard, and we see the notifications view. Our subnavigation is working perfectly. With this implementation in place, Let's discuss the main topic for this video, which is unmatched routes. By default, the content rendered within a slot matches the current URL. Our complex dashboard has four slots, children, users, revenue, and notifications. When you visit localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard, all slots show their respective content. But when you navigate to localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard slash archived, only the notifications slot has matching content. The other three slots, children, users, and revenue become unmatched. Nextjs handles these unmatched slots differently depending on how you navigate. When navigating through the UI, like clicking links, Nextjs keeps showing whatever was in the unmatched slots before. So when you move between default and archived notifications, the other three slots, children, users, and revenue stay exactly as they were and are not influenced by the shift in the URL path from slash complex dashboard to slash complex dashboard slash archived. When you reload the page, however, Next.js looks for a default.tsx file in each unmatched slot. This file is critical as it serves as a fallback to render content when the framework cannot retrieve a slot's active state from the current URL. Without the file, you will get a 404 error. That is exactly what happens if you reload slash complex dashboard slash archived. Page not found, could not find requested resource. We don't have a default.tsx file in the children, users, or revenue slots. Let's go back to VS Code and fix this by adding the missing file. Now the files can either mirror your page.tsx content or show something completely different. It is up to you. In our case, we will keep it simple and copy the content from page.tsx. For our complex dashboard, we need to add three default.tsx files to prevent 404 errors when reloading the page. First is for the children slot. Define default.tsx within the complex dashboard folder. This will serve as the fallback view for the children's slot. Copy the contents from page.tsx and paste it. You can rename the component as well as change the heading. Completely up to you. Next, define default.tsx inside the user slot. So within add users folder, default.tsx, and this will serve as the fallback view for the users slot. So copy page.tsx content and paste it. I'll just change the card text to user analytics default content. Finally, define default.tsx in the revenue folder. I'll copy 
page.tsx content and leave it as it is, no change. This will serve as the fallback view for the revenue slot. Once these are in place, reloading localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard slash archived works perfectly. The notifications slot shows the archived content as it is the only slot with a component defined for the slash archived route. This folder right here. The other slots show the respective default.tsx content as fallbacks. So complex dashboard default, user analytics default content, revenue metrics, which we didn't change. So reload complex dashboard, navigate to archived, children, user, and revenue remains the same, reload, and we render the default content. This setup ensures you don't accidentally render a route that shouldn't be parallel rendered. If you're having trouble with this, please try restarting the development server. All right, we have now covered how parallel routes allows you to simultaneously render multiple pages in the same layout. Next, we will explore how parallel routes allows for conditional rendering of pages within the same layout. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.